Hey y'all, Caleb here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how um, you can have a custom domain on your Azure Blob Storage website with SSL. So uh, I realized in my last video that um, getting HTTPS with uh, www.calebcwells.com may have been uh, a bit misleading. Uh, I run Bitdefender on my PCs. And so whether a website has a certificate or not, um, Bitdefender is, is actually um, forcing it to HTTPS. Uh, as of right now, if you do a custom domain on a, a blob storage website, you lose SSL. Uh, but there is a workaround. I'm just a little more involved than, than in the previous video. But uh, I'm going to walk you through it. So uh, if you did follow the steps from the previous video, um, you can re-enable secure transfer. Uh, you would want to wipe out your custom domain. And you would also want to update your domain manager um, for your custom domain uh, to not be associated with each other. Uh, and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to um, set up Azure CDN uh, for our storage account. Now, um, in some instances, I have run into uh, when trying to uh, create this for a storage account, it's failing. So we're going to try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll show you how to create the CDN uh, by itself and then um, add the appropriate endpoints to it. Uh, this is going to uh, be a bit more extensive than just the static website because, um, as it says, you know, a CDN is a content delivery network. So it's going to be um, making everything available in multiple regions throughout the world. Uh, we're using it for the SSL, um, but uh, it also manages the the data across everything. So. Um, Let's try to do Caleb's blog. And you see it's going to be a new uh, Azure Edge.net. And then we want to select our static website. Okay. So let's click create and see what we get. All right. So um, I'm not sure if this is an issue with uh, my storage website or, or the flow, but uh, it basically says it cannot create it. All right. But that is not a problem because what we can do is we can create uh, the CDN and then assign the endpoint to it. So we're going to create a brand new CDN and we're going to name it Caleb Blob CDN. Uh, you select your subscription, your resource group. We we'll use Caleb's Blob because that's uh, what everything else is using. Your pricing tier. This is going to be the same. Uh, that we saw in the previous screen. And you can also go ahead and create your uh, endpoint right here, but we're going to wait and do that in just a minute. So let's create the CDN. So now this is our new CDN where we can add endpoints um, to, to be processed through the content delivery network. So we're going to add an endpoint and we're going to do uh, Caleb's blob again. Um, this one requires a little more information, but it's it's basically the same steps. Origin type, you're going to do your static website. Um, it will actually find your static website, so you can select it. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't find it, um, the steps to to go through and find it are to either pull it up in Visual Studio Code or look at your properties inside your storage account. Um, so we've selected that. We're going to leave the protocols alone. We're going to leave general web delivery and we're going to click add. Okay, so uh, we now have um, our uh, running um, endpoint through our CDN. And if we click on it and uh, navigate, um, typically you're going to get this initially because it, it can take a few minutes for it to to uh, fully set up the endpoint. But uh, as you can see, when you click on this endpoint, it's actually going to use the, the um, static website uh, as its origin. 
Okay, so now that we have that set up, now we go back and do the custom domain steps. And they're similar for your CDN, uh, just a little different. So um, in this case, right, uh, you would click custom domain and you'll see the information here. Um, what we want to do first is we want to, to copy our, in, our new endpoint. And we want to go to whatever your domain manager is. We want to update our C name to point to it. So this is very similar to pointing it to our static uh, website, but instead we're pointing it to our CDN endpoint. Okay. So we're going to click save. Okay. Now that that is saved, um, we can go back here and uh, our custom uh, host name is calebsegwells.com. And Ah, so we need to give it a minute. Okay, so we had a little trouble um, with the custom host name. Uh, if you saw, we got a uh, the red exclamation mark here. Um, and if that is the case, uh, uh, what you need to do is you need to go into your domain manager and actually update your C name. Um, and like I said, you may not have to do this, but if you do get that error, Change this to the actual www with your custom domain name and click save. And then we'll come back in here and we're going to put our custom domain name back in. And you see now we get the green check mark. Okay, and then we're going to uh, go take a look. You see that the custom domain um, has been associated. So, uh, you know, it's, it can take a few minutes for it to propagate, uh, like we said, and, and we can actually go in and check here and see. Um, so as you, as we see, it hasn't hasn't propagated yet. We'll give it a few minutes. Um, but and you also see here that custom HTTPS is disabled, right? Which gets us back to the same place we were with the static website. The difference here is that we can actually turn on HTTPS. So um, uh, once we select this option, right, we have the option of uh, letting the CDM manage it or using our own certificate. Um, and we're going to let the CDM manage it because if we're bringing our own certificate, that means we're paying for it separately, which is not something that, that I want to do. I like to have it all managed within this and, and make it as cost efficient as possible. So we're going to leave CDM managed. Um, this is really up to you. Uh, a lot of um, uh, SSL or, or sites only require TLS 1 or 1.1, 1 .1, um, and uh, Azure is defaulting to 1.2, which is really just uh, uh, a, a newer protocol, um, and so it, it provides a little more security. So we're going to leave the 1.2 uh, selected, and we're going to click Save. Okay. So now that that is saved, it's actually going to go through a process of um, submitting the HTTPS request, um, validating the domain, and that, that it is actually connected to, to our uh, CDN endpoint, um, provision the certificate, and then it'll be completed. Um, and, uh, you know, you may have seen this pop up, right, uh, that this um, will be validated and set up, uh, but it may take take a little while, the same as with DNS propagation. Um, it could take some time. Let's go back and look at, at the propagation and see, see what we get here. Ah, so you see, so we, we only have a few at this point. Um, so uh, what's going to happen is basically you just you leave this alone, let it do its, uh, its uh, a process. Um, once it's done, um, HTTPS will be turned on. Um, so as you can see here, uh, it is currently enabling HTTPS and it's in the submitting your request step. Once it goes through all four steps, uh, you'll have HTTPS turned on for your custom domain uh, that is running in Azure Blob Storage. Um, so this took Quite a few more steps, 
to, to get both the custom domain and the blob storage and SSL. Um, but, the, but the whole package works once you get all the, the steps complete. Um, so that's going to do it for, for this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Bye, y'all.